We're here at the one-to-one -one mining conference in New York. Richard, give us a background to Phoenix Global Mining. We are redeveloping the historic empire copper, gold, silver, tungsten mine in uh, central Idaho. That's our flagship property. It consists of a, an open pit project that we can get into relatively early production and therefore cash flow and uh, very importantly potentially a huge underground deposit uh, below the open pit which was historically mined in the first half of the last century and shut down at the time of the, when America entered the Second World War. So we're, we're very excited about that. Uh, we also have two cobalt properties on the Idaho Cobalt Belt, about 100 miles north of, of the Empire Mine, and we have an option on a high-grade gold property in, uh, in the Northwest Territories in Canada. And since I last saw you, what have been the latest developments? The, on the corporate front, the, the latest development has been that on, on Monday of this week, we started trading on the New York OTC QX market. Uh, I, I say that, uh, and, and we're quite excited about what that's going to do for the company, but we don't yet have the electronic trading facility via TTC. That has been applied for, and I very much hope we'd have that in place in a couple of weeks' time, and, and then we can take full advantage of that market. But as of uh, right now, we can say that we're listed on AIM and we are traded on the New York OTC QX market with a ticker PGMLF. So what's the core messages you're trying to get across to investors here at one to one We just want to get the story out. I mean, we've, we've been running five drill rigs on site, 40,000 foot drilling program. We've completed about 25,000 feet of that. And to be honest, the results have been quite spectacular. We always thought the ore body you know, was the tip of an iceberg and that we were sitting on a, a large, high-grade system. But the, the drilling results that we've already announced and particularly channel sample results, that, which is right up on the surface that we put out earlier this week, are, are bringing in some great grades. I mean, on surface, we're getting almost 10% copper, almost 8 grams per ton gold, 100 grams per ton silver. So this is quite exceptional. So we just want to get this story out so more and more people are aware that there is a, a high-grade, almost, almost African-type grade, copper project sitting here in the United States in a very, very safe jurisdiction called Idaho, and, uh, and it's, 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 it's a very worthy investment. Uh, but we, we need to market the company because this, this, this project has been owned for quite a while by Canadian, mainly junior mining companies or exploration companies really, and, and nobody really knew that the, the project was there. So we're, 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 we're bringing Empire back to life and telling the story and everyone seems to love it so that now we have the New York trading facility I'm hoping that that we can get some decent activity into the stock over here as well as continuing to market the company in, 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 in the UK and, and Europe. So how have you found the one-to-one -one mining conference so far? Well as with the last two that we did we, we've, we, we like the one-to-one -one and we've had uh, our meeting schedule for this one is, is more full than for the last one and we've had a pretty busy morning. We've met some good people and we've got some more meetings today and tomorrow. Richard, thank you very much.